All right, Guild Survivor. What you guys have been waiting for. Two teams, two tribes, two guilds battling out to see who will be the sole survivor. We have the veterans, Mythic Raiders, Death Jesters on the left. And on the right side, we have Zeros to Heroes, the underdog, the new community that is flourishing, full of awesome, awesome players and Mythic Raiders now. Last week, we did have Fast Forward voted out. Zeros to Heroes lost the first community challenge, but they did win the first reward challenge, which was Roshi as a speed burst for a future challenge. It'll be a great, fantastic episode today, and for those of you that are Raiders in Missa Pandera, you guys will really, really enjoy today's little event. It is a brand new one. It'll be exciting. Who will be the first survivor? Who will be the, the sole survivor from for this season that we're going to see here? All right. So we do have our first event here again. Uh, we have the survivors on the right side here is Death Jesters again up on their mounts. And on the left side we have Zeros to Heroes on their Moose mounts, Moose Leaders. Uh, so last event, or last uh, last week, we had Lurchy. He did lose the first reward challenge and we had the winners on Zeros to Heroes. They won the first one, which is Roshi in, the, uh, in a... You'll have him for a PvE challenge at a future event. You guys can redeem him at any time for his stampeding roars. Uh, so how is camp life now uh, in both teams? Pretty quiet. Okay, so let me let me get to questions here. Um, so let's start with Thalsta then. How much prying is there for clues or information? Oh, absolutely none. You know, we wouldn't want to cheat or anything. See, now I heard from from some reputable sources that, you know, you're trying to sort of see what the event was, you know, trying to pry clues out of midgets. Oh, oh never. We would never do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, Relo. Uh, what about the DJ side? How much level, uh, how much preparing is there from the DJ side? Is it mythic level of preparation? Yeah, obviously. We read through the clue and... We try to understand or know prior to the event what's going on. Awesome. Uh, Yender, you know, how, how is life back at the camp? How much discussion happens during the week about Survivor and the next potential uh, event? We try to, like, guess what's going to happen next. But other than that, we don't really prep all that much. Okay, fair enough. Lurchy, uh, do you think your new computer will make it easier to, to do some of the more raid-intensive challenges? Or does it take a while to get used to having more than 7 FPS when you're playing Warcraft? Uh, I think we're going to be good. Alright. Primetime. Uh, now here's a really interesting yep. one for you. Uh, our Facebook, you know, our Sparty Smallwood Facebook, predicts you winning all of Guild Survivor. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I have to say that's a pretty pretty smart uh, that's a pretty smart guess. Um, we know that uh, anybody from Death Church is going to win. It's not going to be zero to heroes, obviously. So you have you know a fifty fifty shot if you pick. You know you have a fifty percent at least a fifty percent chance if you get uh, Death Chester's picked. So that All was right. smart on their part. And then Orgathor, you know what are your thoughts on Primetime being predicted as the winner of this year's Survivor? Yeah, I think they don't know us very well yet. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Uh, totally, totally the underdogs. Okay, so we're going to get to the first clue here, and I will read it out. Fantastic clue again by Ariana. So the clue. Although forgotten to time, the misty shore shall be the location of your next challenge's door. Your power limited, your skills tested. This time it's not your brawn that's contested. Take a deep breath, free the fright released, look deep into the heart, the beat long since ceased. Don't be distracted by the luminescent glow. The signal of victory can't be diminished by the attenuation's blow. So that was your clue for today's next event. 
Now, one of the rules here to make these clues really meaningful is make sure you have your specs locked in prior to Survivor starting. So for today, whatever specs you guys have, those are the specs you guys are going with. And of course, we're gonna use the honor system here. So when we do PvP challenges, uh, don't switch you know, right before the PvP challenge, but make sure it's all ready to go uh, prior to the actual Survivor starting. So with, for our first challenge, you guys can start heading over to Heart of Fear. So you guys can teleport over. We can also start summoning everybody down. I think Roshi and Midgets are down there as well. Or you can use your challenger's portals. Or we can have a mage teleport, you know, your respective groups. So we are going to Pandaria. Or we are going to go to, to Siege here. So take a portal. You can use your Path of Black Ox. Or you guys can get summoned down. All right, they are summoning everybody down here. So your first challenge will be in Heart of Fear, and I'll explain exactly what's happening. And I know some of you guys were not Heroic or Mythic Raiders back in Mr. Pandaria, so we'll make a couple adjustments. So we're gonna start the raid here on Normal, and once everybody's zoned in, uh, don't start clearing trash yet. We will switch it to Heroic, and then we'll go from there. Hoping to head into Vashira. Good one. Oh, sorry, the clue's still on screen. Let me turn it off. Thank you. Thank you there. All right. So, let's switch it to normal here. Normal difficulty, 25 player. All right, we're gonna get zoned in. And we'll wait for everybody else. So we do have a couple replacements today. <clears throat> so like I was saying, we do have a couple replacements today. Uh, and because uh, DGS has too many players, they would require one person to sit out. This would be a 10 versus 10 challenge. Panzer is sitting out uh, for, for this match. And because a few Zero to Heroes had a few real life obligations, uh, yet Anissia is being replaced by a Freezing Hero, and Osarif or Ilira is being replaced by Hunter Druid. So once we get there, I'll give you guys a few minutes to strategize, uh, but I will explain exactly what's going on once everybody's zoned in and we start clearing the trash. What is this? This is Guild Survivor. This is Guild Survivor where we have really fun challenges based off previous encounters or PvE stuff or PvP stuff or whatever. Do we want to turn off the damage debuff? No, we definitely don't. We definitely don't. Is the goal to kill trash and win? Well, I'll explain it to you once we get there. But let's get everybody in here, uh, get everybody summoned down, and start zoning in. Once everybody's inside, we'll switch it to Heroic and we'll go from there. And I'll explain it as we start clearing trash towards the next one. Uh, again, these challenges are based around you guys having the green Mississippendia gear that you guys picked up, or your regular gear. Uh, for this challenge specifically, you need to have your uh, your 403 or your 408 gear equipped for it. Uh, for the trash, you can have your regular gear though. Just to make things a little bit easier. All right, so we're waiting on these guys to start zoning in, start flying. Yeah, just to finish summoning the rest of them down, and then we'll get going here. Alright, this would be a good one. This would be a fantastic challenge. Um, they've been sort of prying to see what kind of event it's going to be. My QA testers for, for uh, Guild Survivor have been fantastic. We tested this for a long time, made some really good balance adjustments. We have an enraged timer. It'll be a very, very good one. I'm not going to explain, you know, or not give you any clues as to, to what we're going to be doing, but you'll see. You'll see, plus we have the entire, like we have both two teams here. So it's not gonna be a race, but it'll be something a little bit different for Guild Survivor. It'll be a very, very good one. You'll see, you'll see this very quickly. Yeah, they will be in lower gear. They'll be in, in much lower gear compared to, uh, compared to the rest. Okay, I think we're just missing our last few players. All right, once those guys are zoned in, we'll get going here. Some of you are hoping you'd never see the inside of this place again. Oh, you'll be seeing some old encounters. You, you guys will see very quickly in this season of Survivor, and like most things that, you know, World of Warcraft, uh, there are many balls. Some balls you have to dodge, some balls you have to catch, some balls you have to just, you know, sometimes just play with the balls. And uh, there will be lots of balls in this season's Survivor. Many, many balls. You guys will handle it. All right. Okay, so everybody's inside. We're going to switch it to Heroic. Okay, uh, so let's start clearing trash, and we will move on to the first boss, and I'll explain what's going to happen with that one. So in this challenge, you guys will be, we're all in the same raid. Uh, we will have some people, some helpers, myself, Roshi, Ariana, and Midgets. 
as people to help push the phases of the first boss. We'll be doing Imperial Vizier Zorlock, which is a super fun boss uh, where some of you guys applied to the guild and you know this was your first progression with this. Uh, others have never seen this boss in its heroic form, but what's going to happen is we will have all 20 of you in the same raid. It'll be the last person or last team to stay alive will win this immunity challenge. So you guys will be off in your own mumble channels. Uh, you guys can strategize however you want. The specs that you have are the specs that you'll keep. Uh, with a 403 item level equip, you guys will have much less HP and much, much less gear. Don't worry too much about DPS in the boss. Roche and Ariana will handle it to push the phases, but it'll be up to you guys to dodge the attenuation balls. And if you guys are really, really good at that, we will push it into an enrage timer. So in terms of healers, you know, some strategy, it'll be up to you guys to see, you know, who you want to heal, you know, whether you have passive heals active or other things like that. You can change talents here and that is totally fine, but the specs that you are in with is, is what you're going to keep. So you don't want to accidentally heal the wrong team. Uh, I, I could just shuffle everybody around, but I want to keep it in uh, the groups here. So groups 1 and 3 are going to be zeros to heroes. Groups 2 and 4 are going to be DJs. And the final group there uh, is just the, the referee or, or the helper group. Do you guys have any questions or any clarification on this one? Are we allowed to do tasks and every class abilities? Yeah, food. Yeah, for sure. You guys are, are more than welcome to use flasks and foods and enchants. That kind of stuff is totally up to you guys. Um, <laughs> if you guys want to use stamina flasks and you have them, uh, that is totally fine. Heal, health tonic and, heal, and health stones? Yeah, sure. You can totally use healing tonics and health stones. Uh, that's totally your prerogative if you want to use them. Any class abilities, that kind of stuff. Um, th then yes, you can totally use those things. So abilities so, are allowed? Like bubble? Yeah, immunities, all that stuff is is allowed for sure. <laughs> what gear are we using? You guys are using the 403 item level gear. So your HP should be down to something like 100,000, 120,000 HP. So feel free to, to switch to your 403 gear now, please. Can you actually tank the boss or are you dodging stuff? Well, there are, you know, a couple different tanks in both groups, potentially. It's up to you. Tally. So if you don't want to tank the boss, and you, you know how these mechanics work on this boss, if somebody else takes, you know, the abilities, well, you know, they may die, or maybe your players may die. So in terms of tanks, it's up to you to decide to, to keep your team alive and make sure the other team dies. Do whatever you can to kill the other team, keep your team alive. All right, uh, so I'll give you guys a quick minute to strategize here. Uh, let's have, yeah, just go into different groups or into different mumble channels. Yeah, let's try DJs. <laughs> All right, so the DJs are gonna go into channel five there and they can strategize really quickly here. All right, we'll get this going here in a second. Let's turn off. Yeah, we'll do that in a second here. So, because these guys are not going to be doing enough damage in their, you know, in their low-level greens here, they're all wearing 408 item level greens, as you guys can see. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they have much less HP. So, Orgathur here has 89,000 HP. It's not a lot. It's not a lot of healing. Uh, 98,000 for Ash, 88,000, 100,000 for him. So, it's up to them how they decide to strategize this one. I got six, six, Let's listen to the DJs here six. and see what they're doing in terms of strategy. I've got uh, AOE. If you're not scanning any of the shell, will it one shot us? I don't think so. Oh, okay. And it also depends if they are. It's heroic. Uh, we're gonna listen to these guys. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know if they're gonna kill it. But so okay, so I'll clarify that as well. We are gonna kill the um, the first uh, ghost from the first platform. Uh, um, okay. But we do want everybody on the second platform there. We don't want oh, so people. Oh, you're forcing us to go over. We are forcing you to go into the second oh. platform. The alternative was we we don't we keep everybody on the first platform, but the, the spirit of the encounter is dodging balls, and if you guys do those really well, we will push into the later phases. Okay. Okay, and I'll explain to these guys as well. Try okay. to manipulate mechs to hit them. 
those so are your zeros options. to heroes great question by by Fair djs enough. is can you stand on the very first platform uh no so we're gonna have ariana and roshi push the ghost on the first platform it'll be up to you guys to move to the, the second platform the green one sorry the green one there and you guys should be dodging the balls with this massive raid side keeping uh your own players alive this may be a very quick challenge but we'll see um so keep your team alive uh, don't worry about phase one we're going to deal with the um the the force and verb and that kind of stuff uh but you do want to dodge if you guys do a really good job we will move on to the enrage phase of this encounter so question study um yeah. Because I never did this fight during current, so we're both on two sides. So like, seriously, hers is on green and they're on blue, or are we all just spread them. We're all each moving other? to blue. We're all okay. moving to blue to start, and then to green. Okay. We are allowed to use the heirloom PVP trinket, correct? Uh, yeah, you're allowed to use the heirloom PVP trinket. That is the other one. Yes. Does DBM still give us an arrow? I have no idea. I have no idea. Shit, yeah, man, stamp. Okay, do you guys have any other questions? Can we switch to the PvP trinket now, or do we have to just go with the gear we've got on? I'm sure, you can use PvP trinket now if you'd like. Can we hit the. I remember the last platform was mind controlling. So, Brand's explaining the encounter. So, yeah, I let them know as well. Everyone's going to blue first, then green. Um, they asked if you could use the PvP trinket here, and I said yes, you can use the heirloom PvP trinket if you'd like to use it. All right, we'll get this going. Everyone's getting a little bit more HP here, trying to squeeze out a little bit more from those PvP trinkets. And those are the min-maxers, right? These are raiders. They're, they're trying to min-max every little bit that they can. The more stamina, the better. They're using stamina flasks here. going to probably... What? Is he gone? No, Spider, you can't be in here. Why can't I be in here? I'm the host. <laughs> they're going to listen to our plans. Oh, they're not going to listen to your plans. Well, I just I want to make, make sure, sure that you are serious. All right. All right. Are you guys about ready? Any other questions? Yeah, Miranda? Sparty. They can hit the boss, right? Yeah, you guys can totally hit the boss. Absolutely. I don't think you'll do enough damage, uh, but feel free to hit the boss. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's not about damage. So we win okay. if we kill him, right? It's about sending a message. Uh, yeah, I don't happens, think you want to kill him. We kill the boss before there's people. Then I have a second. Don't dead. worry. Don't worry. It, okay. It'll be fine. Yeah, I have thought that this way. If for somehow all 20 of you guys manage to actually kill the boss, then we will move on to the sudden death round. Ooh. You mean 19 people? Okay. <laughs> we'll do a ready check here. Make sure these guys are set. Block them. Um, okay. Okay, so almost everybody's ready here. Uh, and again, if everybody survives, like all 20 of you somehow managed to actually kill the boss, then we'll move into a sudden death round of something else. Okay. Okay. So we can kill it if we want. Yeah, absolutely. We can, if you can kill it. Oh. If you think you can kill it, then by all means. Oh, we can kill it. Well, you gotta be careful of aggro and bops. They've got two people who can bop. Yeah, just remember. Um, yeah. All right, yeah, here we go. They're gonna probably bop the tanks, but just remember on this last platform, I probably will pop hero on. We want to burn it before we get too many mind controls. Do um, okay. We, we like cancel bot backers, right? Tanks. I can only group the DK. Right? All right, here we go. We're gonna start this going here. Let's start our first event. <laughs> DBM pull ten. It's gotta be a challenge, right? Oh what? Firemans are still in position, but that's okay. Five. Five. Four. It's a really like shitty gear, yeah. Oh, it's been so long. Yeah, Alright, here we go. So this is the first platform of Imperial Vizier's Zorlock. Just burn the bomb. Uh, we'll see how much damage they actually do. They're pushing about 10,000 DPS here on the higher end. Uh, they're not going to be doing a ton of DPS here. All right. Stay in these circles, right? All right. Yeah, we, now we move. Yeah, we have to go to the other. Yeah, you guys can head over to the green platform now. All right, so this is the event right here. We want them dealing yep. with the attenuation yeah, balls. Uh, so we'll see what happens in terms of them staying alive. So they're all heading over here. There's a big breath here. Who is it going to hit? We shall see who the breath hits. So Psycho's tanking right now. They're doing a bit of a tank switch. And here come the balls. Here they come. Who are they going to hit? Oh, lots of shields going out. Some people dropping low. Hit Traco. Freezing here. Getting a little. Lots of balls to dodge. Many, many balls. Oh, we lost a few people already. Oh. Hitraco's down, Miranda's down, Zeros to Heroes losing players left and right. Left and right all over the place. Alright, so they've down, they've lost a few players. 
Uh, they've Next lost video. three players. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, 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 no. Roshi being. Thanks to it. Okay. All right. So he's he's soaking this right now. That's totally fine. All right. So they're pushing this boss slowly, slowly but surely. Let's see what happens. Who survives? Who survives this one? We still have our Left, left, left. So maybe, maybe they want to use a battle res. There is one battle res available, as you guys can see here. And Zeros to Heroes could totally use it. Tally about to die here. Tally, oh, I think he bubbled. Orgathor getting really low. Good communication there. Prime time. Ash is getting really low as well. Oh, and they've pushed the boss. They have actually pushed the boss into the next phase here. So we'll see what happens. Let's see if they're going to decide to keep somebody on the side here. But the next phase of this encounter is actually... Uh, dealing with mind control, so somebody get, can get mind controlled yeah. here on yeah, either is side. Awesome. This is where it's going to get really, really fun. Okay. So they're still deal dealing with the echo of attenuation here. Best far, right? Yeah, yeah. But we'll yep. see. We shall so see exactly what happens. Mind exhale, jungle. Jungle. exhale, get jungle, jungle. Okay, there's an exhale. So now they're soaking. So they, these guys do have the advantage there. They know how to deal with the mechanics. All right, shield wall used by Psycho right there, and they're all getting around the corner here. Now we're gonna have some mind controls. DBM timers aren't working right now. And here come the mind controls. So who are they gonna kill? Looks like, looks like a bunch of these guys have got a mind control. Roshi as well, one of our little helpers with his full gear is gonna start annihilating players very soon here. Brain is getting low. Hunter Jude's getting really low. Those guys are getting broken out of their mind controls. So let's see. Oh, Ganner almost down. Almost down. They have to break out Roshi, and this is one of these hidden little twists here, where Sparty or Roshi or Midgets or Ariana can get mind controlled. Oh god! <laughs> All right, that was pretty pretty hectic there. So they're gonna try to DPS this boss down. Freezing here, almost dead. Nobody, nobody's used a combat res yet. Yendar and Freezing Hero from Zeros to Heroes can use their combat res. Oh, Sparty gets mind controlled now. Let's see. The... Alright, let's see here. And now the last phase of this encounter gets really, really crazy. So let's see who they kill. Adonson's down! Zeros to Heroes with a commanding lead of this one. Commanding, commanding lead. Alright, let's switch to the Zeros to Heroes channel and see how these guys are doing. Alright. Oh, they used their ank there. They used their ank and they just they just resed it. They, they used their combat res here. Sparty is running around annihilating people. Prime time's down! Prime time and Psycho! They're going down here! They're going down! They're going down. down. Sparty is actually the host is killing their players. Oh dear, Tally be dropping that really low. Oh dear, oh dear. Tally dropping Tally's dropping. Everyone's getting mind controlled right now. They're gonna focus me, be careful. Balrez, oh dear, Rolo. Rolo. Now the tides have turned. Zeros to Heroes is in the lead. Commanding lead here. They're down three players. Miranda's calling the shots. Psycho's down. Tally's down. DJ's has no tanks left. Freezing Hero. Firemancers block there in the back trying to stay alive. Everybody's getting mind controlled. Sparty just running around killing people. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> Alright, and now it can get fun here. We've almost pushed to the final phase here at 40%. We'll see what happens here in a second. Oh dear, oh dear. And now we're getting to the last phase here. This is the last phase, and there are mind controls remaining. Oh dear, oh dear. What's gonna happen? Who's still alive for this one? Everyone's gonna get pulled in. He's at 3%. Firemancer's, Firemancer's really, really, really low. Firemancer's just about dead here. Oh, Firemancer's down as well. Who's left? There are four players left for DJs. Jungle, Ganor, Brain Dead, and Prime Time. Sparty's still running around killing people. It is a four on four match right now. I didn't think it'd be this close. It's four versus four. And now there's balls again. Lots and lots of balls to dodge. Sparty's still trying to kill everybody. Yendar is down. It's now three versus four. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Well, Sparty is the one killing everybody. I just want you to know that. It's oh dear. Sparty did a massive amount of damage here. Uh, so, Did 3 versus 4. That's because I was the last okay. one who wasn't MC. So, so, we do have, okay, so we have the remaining people alive. We're going to do that one more time here. So, the remaining people that are alive, you guys will be the only ones remaining for uh, for this next round here. It'll be sudden death for the next, or really not sudden death, but the remaining people. So, it'll be jungle, again, or brain dead. Uh, Prime Time, I think, died there versus Orgathor, Ash, and Hunter Druid. So, oh, no gosh. battle rest. Party, could you take your super high level gear off so you're not one shotting us when you get MC'd? Oh, no, absolutely not. I I'm going to keep it on, and that's part of the fun of Survivor and the RNG. Oh, <laughs> I just thought also... you went over to Ariana in her house. 
Alright, so what I explained to these guys, uh, it'll be the remaining players that are alive. Uh, prime time, you died. So it'll be Orgathor, Ash, and Hunter Druid versus Jungle, Ganor, and Brain Dead. We're going to do one more round like this. What? I can How did prime time die? I thought we were just going to. Did a prime time die? Mm -hmm. Prime time yeah, he's alive. Alive. He was up, yeah. Can I onk? Okay. Because I mean. Oh, well, you can you can totally be... onk and you can use your combat reses, um, but it's really the first one to use the combat res during the encounter here. Okay, so but Fire Mancer died, so it's then four versus three, is that right? Orgathor, mm -hmm. Ash, and Hunter Druid versus Jungle Ganner and Brain Dead and Prime Time. Okay. Can I onk right now? Oh, he DC'd. Oh, that's what happened. He, d he disconnected. Mhm. Mm yeah. Uh, n no, Bran. No, you should have anked during the last encounter. You died. But we're asking, is it going to count for MC? That's okay. We're gonna get going here in a second. All right. So we're gonna do round two of this. You have to bring out. Okay. Yeah, that's the only, uh, that's the only so it'll be Orgathor, Ash, and Hunter Druid versus Jungle, Ganor, Brain Dead, and Prime. So it'll be a three versus four. Uh, be very careful with you know with what you guys do. Uh, you guys are a little bit underhanded here. We're gonna do one more round. Uh, uh, people who are people who are out. Do they need to be out of the area so they don't kill people? Like Firemancer? Yeah, so Firemancer will have to and hop Relo. out. Uh, yeah, and Relo as well. Okay, so it'll be 3 versus 4. It'll be same thing. Uh, Roshi, Ariana, and Midgets will be pushing the phase, but it'll be up to you guys to deal with the rest. Alright. Uh, this time... Push. Alright, just... All right, we're doing a ready check here. Okay, yeah, we have to are you guys ready? So yeah. just fire answer, make sure you're out. Uh, you have to yeah, die you know, early on. Um, but beyond that, it is jungle, Ganor, brain dead, and prime time. And once the encounter starts, well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, everyone's ready. VM full and here we go. Let's see how these guys do. I'm okay, trying to the break the orbs time. on at least brain dead and get jungle though, because he's their main and prime. All right, here we go. We're gonna push again. So now it is the remaining survivors. Who will win? That was a close one. Yeah, he is. All right, we're gonna try to burn really quick here. I got MC right before I was supposed to get the res out. All right. Wait, I thought each guy only got one B res. There's only one for the encounter. But they right, right. tally as well last fight. Yeah, yeah there, that's there fine. The second one that popped in prime time got the second. All right. But he actually disconnected last uh, time. All right, here we go. So it is now three verse three verse four. Ash dropping really low there. Let's see what happens. And here come the balls. Lots and lots of balls as usual. Dodge them. Let's see who can dodge the balls. Ash dropping really low there. He's their only healer. He just bubbled. Hunter Drew dropping really low. Ganner getting hit by many balls. There's balls all over the place. He's getting balls to the face right now. Jungle dropping low. Jungle might die here. Ash dropped really low as well. Now they don't have any tanks alive, so they're going to have to deal with some massive, massive healing here. So Ganner's getting hit. It is at RNG. Is he going to... Someone going to soak it? Jungle? Yeah, Jungle's going to run in there. So Jungle's their little healer as well. But looks like Jungle is running a bit of a boom conspect. Alright, so they're going to be pushing even more here. Let's see what happens when they run out of mana. There'll be so many balls, many balls to the face here. Next breath on midgets. Poor midgets. Poor midgets. Poor midgets. No one's going to help her. So now they likely don't have enough. Well, they might have DPS to push it. And here come the balls. Balls coming out really quick again. Let's try to dodge these myself here like this and like this. Oh, now the balls do split off. You have to remember, the balls do split when they hit somebody else. And there's lots of dodging. Deterrence being popped there. Orgathor dropping really low again. Ash now has threat. Ash now has threat. From the boss. He is a holy paladin tank. They're trying to not DPS him. That is a good strat here. Orgathor now getting hit. Are they going to save him? He's dropping really low. Oh, Orgathor down. It is now Ash and Hunter Druid. Ash and Hunter Druid left for Zeros to Heroes. No, no B reses. Oh. All right. And now attenuation coming out again. Who's going to stay alive? Prime time. Solid, solid disc here. Solid disc. Dodging lots and lots of balls going all over the place. And they do cover much of the area. Jungle dropping there low again. Ganner getting hit by a few balls. And now who has threat? Ganner now has threat. He's taking as a hunter. He's going to drop really low here. He's going to go down potentially. Oh, and then there's the breath on midgets again. Saved by midgets. Saved by midgets. Saved. 
All right, so it looks like they're using the turrets here. Uh, are they going to push this phase? Likely not. So everyone's trying to not DPS right now because they don't want threat. The more threat they have, then they're tanking. All right, now somebody does have to be in a melee range. And here come the balls again. Prime times mana is dropping a little bit lower here. You see Ash drop it using his divine protection. Good use there. Ganner getting hit by some balls, passing through him. Ganner dropping really low again. Ganner dropping really low. Oh, saved again. And now remember, if there are no players within melee range of the boss, she hits everybody. Hunter Druid getting hit. He's gonna get saved. Good hand of sack there by Ash, dropping really low. Oh dear, he's down to one. Okay, so it is now Ash Tanga versus the world. Ash Tanga versus the other four DJs here, doing quite well. Prime time. There's attenuation again. Prime time at about a half mana right now. Prime time's uh, on the left side. He's gonna he's use his bubble right now, run through everything, and try to split the balls off to everybody else. So he's trying to screw the other team up. Ganner dropping really low again. Ganner, Ganner might have this. Gan uh, nope, Ganner dropping low. Ash again. Now we'll see who has threat. Now Ash does have threat, so he's taking prime time dropping low. What's gonna happen here? Exhale on who? Oh, it's on Ganner. Are they gonna save him? They're gonna try to run in there and save Ganor. Yeah, smoke bomb. No, no Ganor. Oh, and they smoke bombed him. Good, good use of raid cooldowns there. Good use of raid cooldowns. Let's listen to the uh, DJ's commentary now. I don't. I can't drop there. All right, Song of the Empress. Nobody in melee range. Who's gonna? Okay, nope. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Who's gonna live? Ash is getting really low. Jungle's about to die. Ash. Oh, DJ's win. DJ's win. All right, DJ's. DJ's have the win just barely. You guys have it. Brain dead in prime time. Last one's alive here. But that was a, a close one. B res, don't forget. Okay, then we can just finish it off here. That was a very, very well fought, very close match. Oh dear. So close, so close. The bonus. That that was really close, Zero Heroes. That was a, a very, very well fought, hard match. Can we you guys actually kill did... this now? Yeah, you guys can kill it now. Um, but yeah, to stop or we can wipe. When he got, when he got hit. Well, no, it's somebody has to be in the melee range to actually stop the Song of the Empress. Because the boss doesn't actually move. Uh, but no, that was really good. You guys did a fantastic job there, Ash. The uh, the lone one alive. That was really solid, guys. Uh, both groups did a lot better than I thought they would. Shield. I didn't anticipate you guys getting to the final phase of the boss or having that much DPS. Uh, so yeah, you guys did a great job. Cool. Fantastic. So we're going to wind this one down. All right. That was a good match. Very, very good match. Yeah, that was a good solid one. Uh, now, DJ is winning again, your second immunity challenge in a row. Uh, DJs, who do you guys think will be voted off from the Zeros to Heroes team? Any thoughts? Ganner, what do you think? Um, oh, I know. I think I know. Oh, yeah, I think I know. <laughs> um, uh, who isn't here today? So they had two replacements. Uh, for Illyria, they had Hunter Druid. And for Aedia and they had Freezing Hero. I'm not sure. I say one of those two since they weren't here. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's second immunity challenge in a row. Uh, do you guys think the momentum will carry you into the third and fourth challenges? Without a doubt. As long as we don't have to... Are we going to rebalance the teams? You know what? In real life, in Survivor, teams aren't always balanced. Sometimes yeah, it's Brawn versus Beauty versus Brains. Well, I thought it meant like, uh, you know, that question depends on whether or not we're gonna, since they're gonna be down people now, right? Yeah. Well, you know, will there be a rebalancing or will there be uh, a tribal merge? We'll see. We'll see what happens in terms of challenges. Uh, but that's, again, great job, DJs. Congrats on your, uh, on your second win there. And Zeros to Heroes will head off to Tribal Council. All right, we're gonna head off to Tribal Council now and head over to Firelands. All right, so we're gonna head over to Firelands for Tribal Council. Let me talk to you. Can we get a Shrine one? Or not Shrine? All right, so again, that was a really, really great job, Zero's Heroes. Both teams did much better than I thought they would. Uh, but unfortunately, I mean, as close as it was, and I thought that you guys, you know, when it was four versus four and DJs were dropping left and right, um, that, you know, you guys might win it out. Yeah. But unfortunately, we do have to go to Tribal Council, so let's head over to Firelands, where you guys will be voting somebody out. All right, so we're going to head over there to Firelands. And uh, Roshi will help us some people down. Yeah. 
Did I get somebody? All right. Uh, I don't think so. Bummer. All right, but that was good. That was a really, really well fought match from from both Zeros to Heroes and DJs. So close, so close. And if you remember that DJs does have the the heroic, sorry, the mythic gear advantage as well as experience. So we try to balance it out in terms of gear. Yeah, the teams are slightly over or unbalanced, but it is all up to skill. That was a pure skill challenge, and it was so close. Dodging balls, who can dodge the mechanics the best? So we're heading over there now, and these guys will be voting somebody out. Now, who do you guys think, as viewers, who do you guys think... Listen to that, thanks for resetting. Who do you guys think would be voted off from the Zeros to Heroes group here? So we're going to drop these guys from the raid. That was a really well-fought one. I, once the tanks started dropping there, I thought it would be, you know, game over for DJs. But some really great strategizing from both teams, you know, not attacking the boss, maintaining threat, soaking. Um, you know, DJs did have a bit of experience there with that boss, but that was fantastic. So, who do you guys think? Of these 10, who will be voted out? And now DJs are starting up our heroic run of Hellfire Citadel, but we're going to head over here now. I need to summon, that's fine, we're going to summon everybody down. So we'll get this going here. Vote out. You can't vote out the host. No. As many suggestions as there's been, you cannot vote for Sparty. All right, we'll summon these guys down really quick here. All right, we'll summon everybody down. Uh, switch to raid difficulty normal. And we will start up Tribal Council. Let's summon everybody down here. Freezing. Everybody's voting for Freezing Hero. It's pretty... So we need, what, four to vote off, or five? So you will need... Well, it depends. Um, it's majority. Depending on how many votes somebody gets. Okay. So some of the rest down, and then we can start like zoning in. Two. If there's a All bunch right. of ones and somebody has two, then the two person's getting voted out. Trump, unfortunately, is not a person who can vote out. That would be sad. Alright. So here we go. As they zone in. So once you guys are here and summoned, you guys can zone on in and you guys can assemble for Tribal Council. Alright. And you can put your regular gear back on. So Zeros to Heroes, second immunity challenge, you know, they can still get this. They can still potentially um, win this back. All right. So just Freezing and Ash. So again, uh, Freezing Hero was uh, subbing for Jadonisia, and Hunter Druid was subbing for Osiris or Illyria for this one. Now, your second Tribal Council here, second one in a row, um, you know, there's been worse teams and, and better teams in the history of Survivor. Um, you know, Miranda, what is this vote based on for you? You know, what, what, is, what are some of the, the factors that go through your mind when you're deciding who to vote out from your team here, from your family? Um, there's a couple of things. There's, you know, who showed up and then who took the most damage and who survived the longest and things like that. Okay. Yendar, do you believe alliances are forming at this point within the tribe? I don't think so. It might be, but I'm not sure actually. Okay. Well, then let me ask you this question, Yendar. How confident are you that you are not being voted out tonight? I'm the mascot. People aren't going to vote me out. Okay, fair enough. If you're the mascot, then you can sit on the side. How about someone like Orgathor? How confident are you that you are not being voted out tonight? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, blind sides happen. I don't know what to expect from this point, so just have to wait and see, I guess. Yeah, blind sides are, you know, are a part of Survivor. Uh, Ash, how confident are you in your spot, you know, being a healer and since healers may be more required on some encounters or less helpful on others, how comfortable are you, you know, with your spot and how much 
of a, of a you know of a role do you think healers play in these survivor challenges? Well, I feel like I mean having a healer is important, but that doesn't make me any safer than that doesn't give me like any sort of little shield when it comes to being an option to get voted off because if I underperform then that makes me a liability. Yeah, true words, true words. And I mean, are you guys thinking at all to the end game or potential tribe merge later on, Thalstedin? Or is it still the, the really early game for you guys right now? Yeah, it's still early game. You know, we're still working out our, our strategy to uh, hopefully el eliminate a few more of the DJs later on. Okay, sounds good. Well, with that, we're going to get right to the votes. Uh, you guys have a quick 30 seconds of thinking if you still need it. But once you guys are ready, uh, you guys can whisper me with your votes and I will tabulate them. All right, now we're going to wait for their votes. Who do you guys, based off these 10 people, Orgathor, Yendar, Ash, Hatrako, Freezing Hero, Dino, Adonison, Hunter Drew, Thalstadin, or Miranda will get voted off? All right. So we're getting our first votes in now. All right. Um, go. Now, when you guys are voting, um, you can use you know whichever names, either their you know their Twitch names or their uh, in-game names or whichever. Okay, uh, let me get these votes. All right, we're gonna get these votes going here. Let's see, a couple of votes coming in. Probably wants to bring his brewmaster. I don't remember their names. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Over Thor's vote. Who else am I missing? Okay, just tabulating all the votes here. Uh, we are going to run with that, like an in-game mail system. So everybody mails me an instant vote. Uh, but we'll go with this. Right. And there we go. Okay, I'm just missing votes from Adonison, Miranda, Yadonisia, and Hitraco. Oh, never mind, I got Hitraco. All right, let's see who gets voted off with this one. No, Tauli's safe. Remember, Tauli's team won immunity this one. Tauli is not voted off. Okay. Got a little notes here. Got Adonison's vote. Did I get Adonison's vote? And then yet Anissia's vote. So the replacements, make sure you guys are voting as well. Or re whisper me who you're voting for. I'm sure there's some backstabbing going in the, in the background right now. They're chatting it up. Who do we vote for? Who do we go? Uh, let me see here. Uh, okay. Okay, I think I'm just missing Adonison. Okay. All right, I have everybody's votes. Once the votes have been read, you'll be asked to leave the Tribal Council area immediately and jump off the cliff to die in the fire, in the abyss. All right. First vote, Adonison. Second vote, Adonison. Third vote, Yadonisia or Freezing Hero, the replacement. So it's two votes Adonisin, two votes Yadonisia. Fourth vote, 
Yadonisia and Freezing Hero. We're tied two votes each. Fifth vote, Miranda. One vote for Miranda, two for Adonison, and two for Yadonisia. Sixth vote. Did I, did I miss up the votes? No, it's five votes so far. Yes. The sixth vote, Dino Egg. So one vote for Miranda and Dino Egg, two votes for Adonisin and Yadonisia. The, sorry, that was sixth vote. Yeah, that was fifth vote. Sixth vote, but the next vote here, Yadonisia. The next vote, and the next person voted off of Guild Survivor, Yadonisia slash Freezing Hero. Freezing Hero, thank you for replacing Yadonisia for tonight. I need you to jump off the cliff and die. Goodbye, Cruel World. And there he goes, friends. There he goes. One we more voted off. You. I bopped you. You'll be saved in the afterlife. Well, well, Zeros to Heroes, it's been one more Tribal Council, one more event. There'll be plenty more. Hopefully this is something that makes your team, your tribe stronger. And we will see you guys next week for the next event.